Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It's Jamar from Vegas Sense. And in this video, I'm going over two clones of two parfums, the Marley fragrances, one being Layton and the other being Layton Exclusive, all right? So definitely stick around for the rest of the video. Also, if you're brand new to the channel, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe. And also to anyone watching, leave a like and a comment below, all right? So the two clones that we have here are gonna be Anakid by Fragrance World. And the other is gonna be uh, Dusk by The Woods Collection, all right? So Dusk is gonna be the uh, Parfums de Marley Layton clone, and then this is gonna be the Layton Exclusive clone. So I'm just gonna give sort of like my thoughts on these two fragrances in terms of, you know, how close I think these actually are to the original fragrances uh, and whether or not these are worth a pickup or not, all right? So just to get started with the Layton clone, uh, again, this is gonna be Dusk by the Woods Collection. So this is pretty much this is the presentation. Really nice, uh, you know, label here on the front. You can see here it says natural by the Woods Collection and then it's got dusk, You've got the concentration and the bottle size down here. And then this is pretty much like a flap that kind of opens up like that. And then you can see you've got the bottle in here. All right, so that's the bottle. And then you've got like a little uh, travel atomizer uh, right here that you can use to kind of take some with you on the go. Uh, also, you've got like some text written here as well. All right. And then on the back of the box, you've just pretty much, you've got like the standard stuff like the ingredients, the barcode, stuff like that, the batch code. Um, and then there's nothing on the top. And on the back here, you've got, or on the bottom, I'm sorry, you've got dusk written there. All right. So that's the presentation pretty much for the box. Um, and then the bottle is actually, it's pretty nice as well. You've got kind of like a gradient colored bottle here where it's like basically like a yellow, uh, like a yellowish kind of color at the bottom. And then it kind of gradients into, I want to say that's either like a black or maybe even like a dark blue. Uh, the main thing that I like about this though is even though this cap has got like a, a wooden texture to it, it is a magnetic cap, all right? So really nice touch. And then you've got the plaque here just on the front of the bottle that says Dusk. You've got this symbol here on the back of the bottle, nothing on the top of the cap. And then you've got the uh, like concentration information and stuff like that on the bottom, all right? So in terms of this particular fragrance dusk uh what i can say is when comparing it to the original uh Layton from parfums to marley uh what i can say is this is about i would say 90 percent uh close to Layton in terms of you know accuracy of smell so the main thing that I notice is in the opening of this fragrance when compared to, you know, Parfums to Marley Layton, there is a quality difference, I would say. Um, it is something that I feel like you're more so able to tell like when you're like really up close on it and smelling it up close, not necessarily so much in the air, but pretty much um, when it comes to Layton, Layton, to me, the apple and like the spices, um, the apple sort of has like this really nice, crisp, uh, you know, sort of freshness to it in Layton. And it smells slightly different, in my opinion, up close, uh, you know, with this one. This does smell slightly more synthetic than what the, the Layton does, all right? Now, that I would say kind of, carries through throughout the whole you know fragrance um i would say at any given time if you're smelling these two kind of side by side the dusk by uh the woods collection this is going to be slightly more synthetic up close but just in terms of the way that these smell in the air the i would say the differences are pretty much negligible 
um, so that is, in my opinion, that's a really good thing. Um, because I mean, obviously for, you know, the $42 that you can get this particular bottle for, for on Joma shop, which is where I purchased this, I wasn't expecting this to be like, you know, 98% close or anything like that. Um, I'm happy with anything between, you know, 85% to, you know, about 90 to 95% when it comes to clone accuracy at that price point. And I mean, for, I would say the presentation that you get, um, you know, and with the presentation and the price that you pay, I would say that this is definitely worth it. Now, from what I understand is the Amber Oud exclusive uh, blue. From what I understand, that is a little bit more closer to Layton. But that one is a lot more expensive, in my opinion, um, than what this one is. And it almost sort of makes this fragrance, it, it, it makes this fragrance, I would say, worth picking up over the Amber Oud exclusive when you kind of look at, you know, price per ml and what you can get this one for at, you know, discounter sites. Um, so this, I would say, is absolutely probably like your best sort of bang for your buck. This does smell more higher quality than the Al Hermain Detour Noir. So I can say that one for sure. Uh, Detour Noir, in my opinion, is a little bit louder than what this is. Uh, I, I've never owned a sort of vintage batch of Layton. So I know people have said how beast mode that particular fragrance is. This is a reformulated version of the fragrance. So I can absolutely say that this particular fragrance, it does outperform this one um, in terms of, I would say, projection and longevity. I would say that the Woods collection, this fragrance does win over Parfums de Marley Layton, but this is the better smelling fragrance. All right. So that's kind of the trade off that you get with these two fragrances is this one smells better but it doesn't last this long this one is pretty beast mode but it doesn't smell as good as what this does so i guess at the end of the day it kind of comes down to what you care about the most pretty much when it comes to the fragrance um when it comes to projection the projection on this was pretty strong um, i've worn this a couple of times and each time that I've worn this about six to seven hours into the fragrance, this is still kicking off of my skin pretty well. Um, you know, it's I would say the projection isn't as loud as what it is for probably like the first two to two and a half hours. But definitely going into like that six to seven hour mark, it is still pushing, I would say for sure. So this is absolutely this is going to be like a, a eight to ten hour you know, plus minimum fragrance when it comes to longevity. And the projection on this one is gonna be very great uh, for, I would say, at least about the first two and a half hours or so, all right? So overall, man, I think this is a, a really nice pickup. Like I said, I really do love the uh, presentation of this particular fragrance and also the performance. But again, in terms of smell, I would say it's about a 10% difference between this and the original Layton. All right. So that is Dusk. All right. By the Woods Collection. All right. So the next fragrance up is going to be Anna Keed. All right. And this is going to be by Fragrance World. And like I said, man, um, this symbol that's in several different places on this box, you see it up top there. Um, it's also on the back of the box as well. I believe it's probably on the bottom. Nope. Um, that, that's what led me to believe that this was a Latafa fragrance because this looks a lot like the Latafa logo. But this is a fragrance world fragrance. All right. Um, let me pull this out of the box here. So this is a pretty weird looking bottle, but the main thing that matters is the juice that's inside of here. Um, 
as you can see, the design is pretty much kind of like the same thing as what you get on the front of the box here. So when it comes to the Ana Key, in my opinion, this is more so one of those rare instances where the clone is pretty much like almost a one-to-one -one copy of the original fragrance. Uh, I didn't pick up on too many differences really at all when it came to the way that Ana Keed smelled when compared to the original Latent Exclusive by Parfums de Marley. Um, this pretty much, I mean, I would say the, the main difference that I picked up on was the Parfums de Marley Latent Exclusive, at least the sample of it, you know, that I have. Uh, and I don't know if, you know, that one has also been kind of reformulated the same way that uh, Leighton has. But the sample that I had, it seemed to project just slightly better than what uh, Ana Key does. Um, you know, for uh, at least about that first sort of two to two and a half hour mark. I would say that Ana Key on a scale from one to 10, you know, if we're talking about the projection, Ana Key, in my opinion, would be like about, I would say, a eight out of 10. And when it comes to latent exclusive, I would say latent exclusive was like a 8.25 or, or eight and a half out of 10. So very, very small difference. But that was the main thing that I noticed was that, you know, latent just seemed to be just slightly louder than what this was. But this is still a beast mode fragrance in terms of projection and longevity. Uh, now, when it comes to like any sort of quality difference in smell uh, or, you know, any sort of notes kind of sticking out in this one that, you know, I wasn't really picking up in the original latent exclusive smell wise, I would say, you know, these are pretty much the same. This smells of the pretty much the exact same quality as the original. Like I said, other than that sort of small sort of projection difference, there's really no sort of difference in overall smell when it comes to Ana Key when compared to Latent Exclusive. So pretty much, man, if you enjoy that Latent DNA, but with that sort of added woody, oody note, you know, that you get uh, with Latent Exclusive, I would say this is a really nice pickup. Um, the few times that I've worn this, I could say that in some instances, I think I actually did prefer the way that this one smelled over the original latent DNA. Um, I'll kind of have to go back and forth with it, but the, the oud in this is not really, in my opinion anyway, it's not like a, a super animalic or sort of super challenging oud. I think for anyone that's a beginner to oud, they may not necessarily like this particular fragrance, but for someone who has experienced different types of oud fragrances, whether it be fecal sort of animalic ouds or sort of fresher oud fragrances, in my opinion, this is, this is an oud that's more so just kind of like a really sort of dry woody type of oud, all right? It's dry, woody, and sort of more so on the fresh side, uh, you know, whereas, you know, you do have some other oud fragrances that are definitely more on sort of like that almost fecal, wet, kind of animalic sort of, you know, oud scale. That's not what you get in this particular fragrance at all, in my opinion. Um, this is pretty much, this is latent with, like I said, just that sort of added woodiness to it, um, which makes this one a little bit more sort of complex and a little bit more mature, in my opinion. All right. So in terms of, you know, just projection and longevity and stuff like that, projection on this one is about two and a half hours. And in terms of total longevity, this again is going to be at least about a 10 to 12 hour fragrance. All right. So Really nice, I would say, with both of these clones, honestly, whether it be the Leighton clone or the Leighton Exclusive, I would say, you know, price-wise, these are extremely hard to beat. 
Like I said, the Layton clone, I was able to pick this one up from Joma Shop for $42.99 plus shipping. So shipping, I think it's like around $6. So it came out to be like right around 50. And this is a 100 ml bottle. And then for the Ana Keed, uh, I'll definitely, I'll have links, you know, in the description for both of these fragrances, but I believe Ana Keed was either 45 or $50, I believe. Uh, and this is a 100 ml bottle and this was from the Oud store. So this is actually a very good deal, in my opinion, uh, for a fragrance that smells as, you know, high quality as what this one does. Uh, like I said, this is one of those rare, rare instances where this is pretty much like a one-to-one -one clone of the original for the most part. All right, so definitely, man, I would recommend these two both uh, to anyone that likes that latent DNA or even latent exclusive. For latent exclusive, I would say there's probably not anything else on the market that is going to be a better deal than what this is. Yeah, the bottle is, you know, pretty strange looking, but the juice inside of here is amazing. Um, and then here, you know, with the Layton clone, like I said, this one is going to be about 90% close to Parfums to Marley Layton. Um, the, the main trade off that you get with this one is even though it performs better, uh, the smell quality, I would say, is slightly lower than what you get in, you know, Layton. All right. So it's going to be up to you, uh, you know, what you prefer. If you're someone that just wants the best smelling uh, fragrance, the smoothest smelling fragrance, the you know most well blended, then I would say Layton is going to be still, you know, your best choice uh, at the end of the day. Uh, but if you want a fragrance that is going to be super beast mode and, you know, just going to pretty much last all day or all night, then I would say that the uh, the Woods Collection Dusk is probably going to be the better choice for you. All right. So let me know in the comments. Uh, do you all have either one of these clones? Um, have you smelled these side by side with the original? And if so, do you agree with my assessment of these two clones to the original fragrances? All right. So let me know in the comments. And once again, if you're brand new to the channel, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe. And also, again, to anyone watching, do me a favor, leave a like and a comment below. And again, that's Jamar from Vegas Sense. I'll see you on the next video.